It's Shane Fozard here from Australian Success Academy. Now, hypnosis and hypnotherapy not only feels great, helps people quit smoking, helps them lose weight, helps them to reduce pain, helps them overcome anxiety and increase their confidence, but it also changes the brain. Now, scientists have uncovered three major findings that show how beneficial hypnosis is and why it works. Now, this is not some pocket watch swinging, chicken clucking, comedic or sometimes fake version of hypnosis that stage performers, TV and movies depict. No, that's not it at all. Now, researchers studied 57 people during guided hypnotherapy looking at the specific brain activity using functional magnetic resonance imaging machine, fMRI, measuring the blood flow to the brain. Now, what the researchers discovered was is that hypnosis decreases activity in the dorsal anterior cingulate, which is a part of the brain that decreases self-awareness. Now, this causes clients to reduce their stress, concerns, and anxiety by being fully absorbed in the moment. Now, in mindfulness terms, this is described as being present. Now, many people can carry hurt, pain, and suffering because of something that's happened in the past, and also some people are, are stressed and they're anxious about their future as well. Now, this starts to explain why hypnotherapy is so therapeutic in helping people overcome stresses and anxieties and suffering by telling the brain to induce a state of presence. And so researchers also discovered that hypnosis increases and boosts the connection between the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex and the insula. Now, your dorsolateral prefrontal cortex is a part of your brain that involves the memory and your decision-making skills, and your insula is a part of your brain that deals with your emotions, your empathy, and the sensations that you have throughout your body. What they found was that boosting the connection between your memories, your decision-making skills, your perceptions, and your emotions makes available all the necessary ingredients to the client in order to create a breakthrough and transformation, promoting the brain to decide on associating new emotions to past memories and create a more positive perception on life. And finally, researchers also found that the connection between the client's dorsolateral prefrontal cortex and their default mode network, which is actually a group of the areas of the brain that is active when the person is kind of wandering through their thoughts of the past, present, or future, and they found that that creates a disconnection. So disconnecting these two areas explains why clients feel a sense of kind of dissociation of awareness from their actions when hypnotized. What this does is it gives the client an opportunity to make a transformation without being self-conscious or self-limiting. Now, knowing how hypnosis changes the brain and the science behind why this creates a transformation and the positive change for people is an important message to share because it helps educate people who want to make a change and that hypnosis and hypnotherapy is not some sort of mind control. It's not swinging a pocket watch in front of someone's face. It's not making people do crazy things on stage. It's not dancing around like a chicken. And it's often not how it's depicted on TV and movies. It's also not some form of pseudoscience or quackery. It's scientifically measured, tested, and proven to be effective in over 3,000 studies worldwide. Now, studies recently suggested that 9% of the population are willing to consider hypnotherapy as a solution to their problems and their challenges, even though it's estimated 80% of the population out there could expect great results from using hypnotherapy if only they were open to it. Now, so knowing how hypnosis changes the brain is another step towards helping people learn more about it because often the solution to the problems that they face is just one hypnotherapy session away.